passed you with the door. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Nothing, Mommy Dearest. Who said you could watch this trash? You did, Mommy Dearest. Liar! You know, I always watch Spot on Monday. Who said you could watch this trash? You did, Mommy Dearest. Liar! You know, I always watch Spot on Monday. Liar! You know, I always watch Spot on Monday. And now, from the horror film classics, it's Carpet Rippers from the Deep. Little did this typically American family realize that when they went out to dinner, their house was subject to Carpet Rippers from the Deep. Notice this evil and vile species, how they come into the unsuspecting house, and they go and they ravage the fine carpeting. They go, they kill, they have no mercy. They go around and notice this, how they go and they kill the carcass. Notice how these carpet rippers go through the ancient religious ritual of kicking and stomping on the carcass. This is typical of this species. They are, like I said, without mercy. They kill. Wait a minute, I see a doctor. Yes, yes, it's Dr. Shore, the chief surgeon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Doctor, doctor, question over here. How is Kermit's emotional state? His emotional state seems to be good. On the way to the pre-op room, he jokingly said that he was very concerned about his date with Miss Piggy tonight, and he was hopeful that it wouldn't ruin his date with Miss Piggy. Uh, his last words that uh, I recall were that he, uh, he wanted his legs to be spared. Apparently, they were going to do some dancing tonight. <laughs> doctor, 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 doctor. That's all I have time for now. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Let's go inside the press room now and get an update on Kermit's condition. Again. Yeah. We're coming to you live from George Washington Hospital in Beverly Hills. In case you've just turned in, Kermit. Tuned in. The next piece is entitled Trash Marshal. He's the only one who can save us all. Trash Marshal. Brian? This is Brian Berklin signing off from Panther Country. So long. Crotch shot. No. <laughs> oh, Hi, my name is Chris Albert's voice. Hi, I'm Chris Albert's voice. Today we're Please. going to be talking. You can't okay. sit natural in a tree. You can't. <laughs> On my nose. Okay. Can I pick my ear? Yeah. I spit on your mother's grave. <laughs> Mike, that early looked good. Could you tell us a little bit about what, what that develops and how much... Second, watch for hand-to-neck signals. This is called universal choking. A blue coloration of the facial skin is another confirming sign. Third, if the victim collapses, at this point time is almost out for the victim. From the moment they first start choking, you have four minutes to clear their airway before they die or cause permanent brain damage. So act immediately. And by the end, in case you missed our opening line, this is um, Spotlight News Special Through the Eyes of a Handicapped Person. Oh, uh, Randy, you want to go up that ladder and change the light for me, okay? Uh, just a
Okay, and Randy is going to attempt the impossible, go up a ladder and change a light. This is another one of Randy's feats of special charisma. Randy, watch out. That light's hot. Oh, Randy burned himself again. You guys, could you please shut up for a few minutes because we want to start it? Get it. Don't ever tell me when I can light the candle. The king's goddamn son of a bitch. Oh, damn it. This has been Brian. This has been fuck. That Come on. Screw it. <laughs> In two months, Antioch High School's drama department will be putting on their production. In two months, Antioch Performing Arts Department will be putting on their production. Spring training is now on for you sports fans. And today, our sports commentator, Chris Allen, will be interviewing second baseman for the Antioch High School's varsity baseball team. And Gina Benny will... Spring training is now on for you sports fans. And today, our... Also, a runner for the girls' varsity track team. It's time now for Annie. This weekly program is put together by students in the ROP video occupations class and the TV acting for television class. Nah. Let's try it again. <laughs> TV. Loser. I'm Phil Carlson. And I'm Tammy Grimes. Hi, this is Lucy Adams. Hello, I'm Kendall McLean. Jane O'Neill. Kelly Eichelbach. And with me today is Phil Carlson. Lindy Long. And Deacon Sagra. And a view for Oakland. Ed And I'm Lindy Long. Where's me, Glad Ockham? I'm Chris. I'm Shelton. With me today is Leslie Eichelbach. Hi, my name is Leslie Eichelbach. From Hi. I'm Leslie Eichelbach, and with my name is Leslie Eichelbach, and with my covered with me. I am Chris Allen for Ted Azurgata. And I'm Tina Consagra. Oh, Jeff Butler here. I'm Mr. Rogers. My name is Randy Wynn. And my name is Tamara Tenica. Hello, I'm Tammy Grimes. I'm Becky Humbug. My name is Patty Terry, and this is Shay Peterson. And I'm Anna Banny Huge. Hi, I'm Rick DeBar. Hi, I'm Don. I'm Alan Moore. For Hi, my name is Leslie Eichelbach. I'm Ted Azurgata. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm Don Sheldon. Sheldon's here. We'll see you. Maybe. 